What do you do with a kangaroo? Written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. When you hear this sound, it's time to turn the page. What do you do with a kangaroo who jumps in your window, sits on your bed, and says, I never sleep on wrinkled sheets. So change them now and make them smooth and fluff up the pillows, if you please. What do you do? You throw him out. That's what you do. Get out of my bed, you kangaroo! What do you do when you go to the bathroom to wash your face and hanging there where your towel should be? Brushing his teeth like he owns the place is an opossum. He says to you, This toothpaste you use is much too sweet, and your toothbrush, I'm sorry to say, is all worn. Please get me a new one tomorrow. What do you do? You grab him up by his skinny tail and carry him off. That's what you do. Get out of my bathroom, you opossum! What do you do if you want to get dressed, but wearing your jeans, your favorite pair, is a llama who says, I lost my pants on the tennis court. I think yours will do, though the color's all wrong. The knees are tight, and a button is gone. The cuffs are frayed, and for goodness sake, the seam is ripped. So send these right off to the tailor. What do you do? You throw him out. That's what you do. Give me my pants back, you llama! What do you do when you go down to eat and there on the table, dipping his paws in your cereal bowl, is a smiling raccoon? This cereal is stale, he says to you. But I'm so hungry that I don't care and I never eat with dirty paws. So bring me a gold-plated finger bowl and fill it with water of scented rose. And bring me a towel of fluffy lamb's wool and a whisker brush too, for I'm very neat. And hurry, I've been waiting all morning. What do you do? You throw him out. It's as simple as that. Stay away from my breakfast, you raccoon! What do you do if you want to go out, but there in the doorway, blocking your view, stands a large baby moose? I won't move, she explains, till you give me a bath in apricot juice and brush my teeth with a sassafras root and play me a tune on a brass French horn and say pretty please 15 times. What do you do? You throw her out. That's what you do. Get out of my way, you old moose, you. What do you do if you want to go riding but there on your red painted tricycle seat sits a grown Bengal tiger with flashing green eyes. Hurry up, he exclaims, and push me along to the Taj Mahal Circus before it's too late. You'll have to push fast and sing me a song about waffles and airplanes and matters of fact. And when we arrive, just to show you my thanks, I'll eat you for dinner or breakfast. 
What do you do? Give that tiger a push if that's what he wants. You push him right off. That's all there is to it. Get off of my tricycle, you tiger! What do you do if you fill up the tub, but before you get wet, a camel comes in and drinks the tub dry? Then, chewing your washcloth, he says with a burp, Now, fill up the tub, I've a terrible thirst. And throw in some tasty bath salt, if you please. But this time, leave out the soap. What do you do? You throw him out. That's what you do. Get away from my bathtub, you camel! What do you do if it's late at night, but all snuggled up where you always sleep is a camel, a moose, a llama, an opossum, a tiger, a raccoon, and a kangaroo? And all at once they say to you, We're very sorry if you want to sleep, but as you can see, there's no more room. So make some warm milk and bring us a glass. Find some more blankets, it's chilly in here, and remember the chocolate chip cookies. Now I'll say it again. What do you do? Well, you know what to do. You throw them all out. That's what you do. <laughs> What do you do if you can't throw them out? You let them stay.